Hello YouTube, this is Skyfire the Pokemon Mac and I am bringing you the third part of the six part series on EV trading for Pokemon Black and White 2. Currently my location right now is the Driftvale City and there's a reason why I want to show you about Driftvale City is because where the location of our next EV stat that we're going to be working on is just around the corner. Um, I'm gonna do something randomness. I'm trying to get myself to see what am I supposed to be EV trading as I look at my team and I have to make sure that I am showing you all the right stats and the stuff that I am gonna be doing for EV training. Now, today this special is gonna be about EV training in HP. And I gotta tell you, before we get to the area, HP in this one is a little bit of a tedious one, but I am going to show you some stuff on how to EV train in HP. But I am going to show you the item that I'm going to be focusing on, and the focus on is on the power weight. As you can see, it says that it promotes HP gain. That means, in layman's terms, that you get plus 4 EVs in HP, in addition to whatever EVs you get from when you battle that Pokemon. And I'm going to give that power weight to a certain Pokemon. Who that Pokemon is, you have to see once we get to the third spot. Now, with everything all good, Daddy, we are going to get ourselves ready to head over to the park. But there's another thing that has to be done. We have to give out the certain vitamins that goes with this. And that, that would be, as you can see, the HP up. And the reason why I'm using the HP up again is that this will give you 100 extra EVs. That's 10 EVs per time that you use it, up to 10 times. So 10 times 10 is 100. So with that, you've already got 100 EVs in HP. So now, once you've already got the 100 EVs in HP, once you got the power weight on the Pokemon that you want to battle, now it's time to go to the place where I'm going to show you where to EV train in HP. I almost gooped and went to the wrong spot, so <laughs> I'm going to now head over to what we know as the Driftvale Drawbridge, which is known sometimes as the Charizard Drawbridge. Now. What I want to do again is I want to switch the Pokemon that's supposed to be up front that's going to be EV trained so that I could do the usual routines that I use in order to get the HP EVs for that Pokemon. Now with that in mind, I am going to show you that the Pokemon I'm going to be training does have poker risk even though you might not see it, but it is in a brave nature as you see the stats and the ability of guts. Now. With that in mind, there is the Pokemon that I'm going to be training with. And now we'll get yourself ready on heading out into the Driftville Drawbridge. Now, this is going to be a fun one because the Driftville Drawbridge actually has a bonus into this. And the bonus also deals with something that I know are the wings. As you see, I picked up a Swift Wing. I'm going to be doing that for most of the time. This is going to be the key in this one because you gotta be patient but you are getting wings and remember you look back into my video on the general information about the wings you'll see what wings give you what in EVs I just picked up a pretty wing that's worth nothing literally but do you see those little dots those dots are those are those shadows of wings for the Pokemon sometimes you get wings like I got and then sometimes this happens you get a Ducklet. Now, Ducklet is the one that gives you one EV in one EV in HP. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna bring in Plymouth, which is my throw, and yes, that is the Pokemon that's gonna be EV trained in HP. Now, I am gonna do the specific routines that I've been doing for all the other times I do my EV training. That is, I am gonna switch out and bring in another Pokemon that's already been EV trained. That's Dort Highway, which is my Zekrom. It gets hit by a bubble bean and it gets a crit? Okay, what kind of a game is this? You know, I, I'm making crits too much in Wi-Fi and in-game. I don't know how that happens, but anyways, I am going to go for a crunch. And that is going to KO the ducklet. And that is my first 
10 EVs in HP, while Plumoff is being level up. Went from level 1 to level 2, 3, now that 7, oh, higher 8, 9. All these moves is trying to learn focus energy and buying and stuff like that. No, I'm not going to get anything besides the moves I already got for it because I probably won't do any of the moves until after I finish EV training. And you're going to see Plump in another EV training video later on. But right now, we're going to go and continue on to finding more ducklets. But I keep finding more wings. Note that Jean's wing I just picked up. Now, I am going to do this for about five times just to give you a little hint on what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a little bit of a more patience type. I pick up a pretty wing. Really? I don't want a pretty wing. Pretty wings are worth zero. Well, it might be worth a few bucks, but that's it. Hey, I find another wing. A clever wing. I like that. I like to pick up the actual EV wings. But I pick up another pretty wing. What the hell? What the hell? So anyway, this is this is how this game is. You pick up wings, and, and trust me, you 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 get used to picking up those wings because you'll need them. Maybe if you do pick up 252, it'll save you an EV training session like this. Hey, I picked up an awesome wing. Sweet. So this is this is how mainly this game goes as far as EV training HP. This is the easiest person that I know of to get HP EVs. Hence, I just found another ducklet. That makes now number two. Now, the number of gear we were going for is 15. We'll talk about that in a minute, uh, but I'm going to show you the same routine. Bring in Plymouth. Once the ducklet comes in, switch out into Dort. And it's going to go for a water pulse. And I'm thinking that's not going to be doing much damage. But I got confused. Are you serious? You know, the hacks in this game is ridiculous. So now I'm confused and I'm hitting myself. This is... This is another funny thing that's that's gonna really mess up if you your Pokemon that you're supposed to be helping the EV train gets KO, that's gonna really throw off a lot of things. But not in this case. I am gonna go for the crunch after it snaps out of the confusion, that's gonna be a KO on that ducklet, and that's two ducklets now defeated for twenty EVs. Again, the number we're looking for is 15, 450, because we've already done the 100 EVs, so now if we're looking for 252, we need to do 15 with the anklet and one without. Not the anklet, I meant the power weight. <laughs> I'm still thinking speed EVs, go figure. I don't want to see another ducklet come here after I picked up another pretty wing. I hate those pretty wings, but... Philip is in again the ducklet. This is the third ducklet, so now once I defeat this ducklet, it will be 30 EVs. But you know, this ducklet's been funny. It goes for Feather Dance and put my attack now on the minus two. Um, yeah, not like that's really gonna happen. I'm still way, way ahead. And you're probably wondering why am I just using Crunch instead? I could use Fusion Mode just to make it super effective? Nah. Because I'd rather keep to one move, so I know how many PP it is, to make sure that I know that I'm doing this enough, to know that I'm doing 150 EVs. So, yeah, that's how it's done. I picked up a muscle wing, sweet. So, I'm looking around, this is the probably the best place for EV trading in HP, as I know. There might be other places, but this was the one that I know of because Ducklet is only around 23 to 26. I did pick up a resist wing, so defense EVs are going to be pretty good, but I pick up another pretty wing. You know, I think that's what, three, maybe four pretty wings I picked up? I guess. But I am going to pick up a health wing that is an HP EV wing, and now I see myself to see another ducklet. And that's going to be sweet, because that'll be number four now. And again, you see the routine that I'm doing. Switching out Plymouth, bring it in Dort. And I, I, I get a little worried about what this ducklet's going to do because the first water pulse, what happened? I got confused. Guess what? Another water pulse and guess what? I confused again. And the same thing happens. Just like deja vu from the second one. I hurt myself. And he goes for area ace, which doesn't do much, but still. It hurts. I'm confused. I was afraid that I was going to hit myself again. Boop. 
I am going to go for a crunch to KO that ducklet and uh, there goes the fourth ducklet and that is going to give Plume of now 40 EVs in speed. Uh, not speed, HP, sheesh. See, I'm thinking speed too much, I don't know why. <laughs> it just must be me. I'm going to pick up a genius sweet sweet. So, pretty much this is all how uh, HP EV training in the drift build drawbridge is. Picking up a lot of wings. And I pick up a clever wing too. So I'm picking up a lot of good wings in this. So this is pretty much the basis of how EV training is in HP. Although it is a little tedious, but you know I am a I am a big patient. I pick up resist wing sweet. And I pick up a swift wing, so I pick up a speed wing, sweet. I love picking up all these wings. Hey, just to know, of all the hours that I've had when it comes down to playing Pokemon Black and White 2, I probably should have about 500 of each wing. I'm close, but hey, that's how it is. I pick up the Southern Swiss wing, sweet. And I pick up a Genius wing, damn. I'm picking up a lot of wings this round. Or this part. I love how I pick up all these wings. But yeah, this, this does get a little tedious, especially if you have already enough wings. I wonder what happens if you pick up a wing where you already had 999 of each. I've never had that happen, but I'm just thinking about it. Maybe it might come up like later editions of the game. Oh, yeah, pick up a pretty wing again. But uh, again, the, 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 the model about this, you pick it up wings, get bonus EVs just in case you uh, want to EV train to something else and you want to do it the easier way to get 252 EVs. But, uh, in, in a sense, if you get that far, then good for you. But I just want to show you just in case nobody has all those wings and you want to EV train in HP. But, hey, I'm picking up all these wings and I at least show you some of the basics of where to go, how to get the HP EVs, and what to do in order to get them that right. Man, I think this round one picked up what ten, maybe twelve EV uh, wings, but I pick up another pretty wing. Sure, I think that's what I think that's six pretty wings that I have picked up in this round, pretty much. But there's ducklet number five, and I'm getting them to the same routine. This is a this is a uh, a standard routine that I remember bringing Plymouth, let it be shown, switch out, bring in Dort, or someone who's already EV trained that can kill it once. Well, I bring in Dort, it does a fair thing, it goes down to minus two, but still. Dort is way higher in level than Ducklet, so it's an easy crunch to be a one hit KO. And Plymouth levels up again. Look at all that HP that Plymouth has at level. 13. That's after 50 EVs. And no, I'm not naming that thing Seismic Toss. <laughs> so, well, there you have it folks. This is your basis for how you do EV training in HP. There are three more videos left, so I'm already halfway there. Rate, comment, subscribe, if you like. Skyfire, see you, see you next time.